I'm curious to see how our new bug. Hello, baby. It's getting used to the boys. <sighs> Look at him. He's like, where am I? Hi. Hi, Clyde. Are the boys treating you right? She's like, there's tons of dogs and I'm shaking. It's okay. She's a friend. You can see he's a little scared. Of her, but guess what? Annabelle um, beats her up like bad. I have to tell Annabelle to stop beating her up. It's like crazy. And then there's a kitty over there. Oh, it's six in the morning. Hi, Clyde. I came to bring you breakfast, okay? I know it's scary, but you're gonna be okay. The boys are nice. I, we brought him last night at 12.30, I think, or 12 something, midnight, and uh, he, well, I was told that he wasn't good on, <laughs> on the leash, so it was kind of, look at the boys, the boys are so jealous, They're like, mom, please pay us a ginger, we, we are here, a very pretty puppy, so he didn't walk on the leash, but we eventually brought him. Okay, okay, we're not scratching. Um, so eventually brought him here. The boys were already all in their pen. Well, not pen, but in their house sleeping. And he came out, walked around the pen. And it was funny because my four boys decided that they wanted to get out of the house and let him go in so they were all standing here looking inside and Clyde was inside the shelter um, of course uh, it's gonna take a while for him to get used to he is as you can see he's very nervous right now so I'm gonna bring bring him breakfast and I'm gonna try to get close I don't wanna stress him out but He's eating with everyone, and uh, seems like there's no issues. What do you think? My task is gonna leave us. Need to get a date on that. This is our weather, Duke. We're stuck with him. He <laughs> because he is Rocky's best friend and actual brother. Uh, it seems like he was shaved a while ago, which I'm glad that it was a while ago because he uh, it's used to being in the really hot weather in central Washington. I think I was checking the temperatures and they're in the upper 90s. Uh, so over here right now, I think there's only 50 degrees. And... So I think it's going to take him a minute to adjust to the new weather. Uh, same thing happened with Dom right here when I brought him. He came from, I think it's called the Apple Valley or something like that. It's down south, super hot. And um, it took him a little bit, it, even though he was a baby, it took him a little bit. You know, I'm sure... Pie will be okay. He's a little stressed over having the dog and the cat here. And you can see how stressed the other boys are. The cat loves to come here every time. Oh, he's gonna try to get in. Um, but there's Clyde. He does have a skirt, if you see on the top. Reminds me of Rocky's, although Rocky has two and they're pretty big. I think he was born in 2020, so he just turned three years old. And he makes some of the most beautiful babies. I'm going to put it on 
I'm gonna try to share with you, maybe on the community page, some pictures. Look how beautiful those babies look. I think it looks very correct. Um, he looks very healthy. Maybe he's not the tallest bug, but listen, I have some shorties over here. At least Duke, uh, not Duke, but Rocky is. And Dom is still growing. He, he has a while before he um, stops growing. So when I try to, um, yeah, he doesn't want me to approach him. But when I was talking to the lady where I got him from, from the farm I got him from, uh, they I asked her, is he loud? Is he okay with, you know, this kind of a tall fence? Is he an escape artist? She said no to both. And of course, they can be loud the first couple of days, even weeks, as I get used to it. But I didn't ask him how easy to handle he is. So that's going to be a surprise, but it will come with time. Um, I usually, this is what I do. I stay just right by them in the beginning. Even when they're um, little buckling, I stand by them. And I usually come and pet one that is really close to them so they know that I mean no harm. He seems like he was fighting pretty good. He has a few marks in his head. He smells like he's in rot still. I don't know. That's kind of weird. None of my boys smell like nothing at this time of the year and I haven't given them a bath yet. Which I'm gonna do, and they're gonna lose all that hair. I think I'm gonna start with Taz. I give him a good bath, and then shave him. But as you can see, he is a little scared. Well, he's gonna pee for us. Just to give us a little show. But nobody's scared of him. And he's not scared of them, so that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to know. Last night when I left them him with a boy here with the boys, I watched them for a little bit. And like I said, they were just walking around. Well, he's looking normal, so he's not too stressed. Even though he was in the back of a truck for uh, four, five, six hours in total, counting the hour and a half for us so I am happy to see that he is kind of adjusting he is hungry he's eating and I am sure that as the days pass he's going to start to warm up to his new environment and hopefully me because I really don't like bugs that I cannot catch and even though we just use them in the fall time for breeding, it's still not fun to have to catch a wild bug. So I'm hoping that he's just a little worried about me because he's in a new uh, environment, new situation, new very friendly friends. I'm so proud of my boy. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You're a good leader. Yes, sir. In the pen, Rocky is the one that says, has the last word. And he is such a sweet buck. He's personality, everything. It's like, I think that that's why I love his daughter so much. Because not to every doe, but some does take after him. And they have his personality, which is... So sweet. I love it. But it is true that they take after one of the pairs. Then, the second one in command is Taz. And third, <laughs> look at Dom, he's looking at me like, what about me? Then third is Dom. And then last is our weather, Duke. 
Now, don't be fooled. He's not being chased around to be mounted or anything. Maybe during the red season, but right now, it's, you know, he loves his life with his buddies. Every time I take him out for doing our monthly stuff, he gets really, really anxious when he's away from his brother, who, as you can see, been together since birth. And they're best friends. But it's so nice to have a leader like Rox in that since he is sweet, he's not picking up fights and he's not making the other ones pick up fights. So we'll see. Um, our little friend, Monkey, which we're gonna call Clyde, which is his barn name. We'll see if he wants to fight to become the new king of the castle, which I hope not, because if there's peace in this pen, it's all because of him. My sweet, sweet baby rocks. My sweet baby rocks. My sweet baby rocks. You're also very sweet. You're also very sweet. And Dom is also very sweet. Dom, this part doesn't have any spurs. Um, no, there's a wall, but they, he does have a little, little something, something. Also, he's just not okay with dogs. Look at how he shakes. I don't know where the cat is, but I can hear him. Oh, look at him! Can you see him climbing? He's trying to um, get squirrels, although he's coming down. Are you okay, Karen? Do you need a hand? He likes to show off. Every time I'm outside, he's around me. If I'm in the bug pen, he's in the bug pen. If I'm with a girl over there, then he's around. He sleeps over there in the milk room. If I'm behind filming, then he's back there filming with me. If I'm in the back, he's just by me. He's always like trying to find company. We be nice to each other, okay boys? You're doing such a great job. You little two rocks. You too, baby. I'll take him a minute to warm up. But these are the happenings in the back pen. Let's see what happens now. Because Rocky won't pick up fights, but if, if, see, if he starts to be pushed around, he will find. And Clyde wants to be by him. And Rocky right now, he just wants to eat. As soon as he's done eating, he'll push you around for a little bit if you want to. Look at him. You're such a creep. Did you know that? Carrot cake. Did you know you're such a creep? What are you doing? Are you my bodyguard? Yes. Yes, he is. I can put a collar on him. He'll pick him off. He'll figure out a way. And I'm afraid he's going to choke if it's not a breakaway collar. So he looks like he belongs to nobody. <laughs> Duke is always scared of everyone. It's just because he's at the bottom. Really, really bottom of the pecking order. So he's always scared that somebody's gonna try to mount him or scare him. My plan is very, very beautiful. And big, so I'm sure he's intimidated by it. And this is what they do, they push around each other. And they switch places.
All right, so I guess this is it. It's going to be a beautiful day today. I think we're going to be in the upper 80s. We're going to do hay. And um, so I think we're doing, I think my husband is doing the bells in the morning. And then I'm going to be driving the trailer as they load the hay. Huh? Not the trailer, driving the truck that connects to a trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna move this a little bit so I can get out over there and not scare him, okay, guys? Okay, there you are. There you are. Be nice to Clyde, okay? You be a good, good boy. Maybe? Oh, oh, something is just stuck. Got it out? Good boy. Oh, I do need to, be, to get a bath and be shaved. The clock is out for himself. Bath? 